I'm glad you talked me into this. It's good to get away from land care for a while. There's a lot of tension. I believe it. I wish you could tell me some more details about this evidence against Mitch that Tina supposedly has. I wish I could too. Brad, I know you want to keep it confidential, but are you sure it is something concrete and not something that Tina has just cooked up? Well, it's hard to say, but I think it could nail him to the wall. And on the other hand, who knows? Yeah, that's the whole problem with this case. Who knows? Who knows what kind of questions they're going to ask me tomorrow when I testify? Who knows how much I'm going to be forced to hurt Vicky? Well, all you can do is tell the truth. Oh, I'll tell the truth. I just I want to be able to protect her. If I were a physician, I'd be protected by doctor-patient confidentiality. But the conversations that she and I had about her dual personality are not looked upon as being official or confidential. Well, you're in a tough spot. I wish you could help. Nobody can really help. But I am glad I've got you to talk to about it. I'm sorry the conversation is revolving around just one topic. Well, just remember one thing. You know you're trying to protect Vicky. Don't hold back anything that might help Tina. I really believe she's innocent. Brad, if she is innocent, I don't want to see her convicted. I will tell them everything I know. It's gone on far too long for any more deceptions or cover-ups. I agree. Uh, look, if you'll excuse me, I have to make a phone call for Clay. I think I'll take care of that now. Sure. How can you feel this close to somebody so soon? Speaking just for myself, I don't think it's so soon at all, because I've been waiting for you all my life. I just... I just sometimes can't get... I, I, I think to myself, I've got to be dreaming this. I really love you, Jenny. And I'm so grateful that I've been too busy in my life to settle down and have a family. Because here you come along, finally. And I'm free. I mean, I am free to just love you to distraction. Glad you were busy, too. <laughs> Guess we both had a lot of living to do before we got to this place. If it had been ten years ago or five years ago, Or even six months ago, it wouldn't have been right. I want you so much. What are you getting so uptight about? How was I supposed to know the wallet dropped there? No, it didn't drop there. You hid it there. Let me go. Don't let you go. You got yourself up here tonight. You're not to have sex with me. What was it? I'm getting out of here. You're not going any place until you tell me what you're doing up here. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Some sort of scheme with Tina. I want you to tell me what it is. You let me go, so help me. I'll scream my head off. I didn't try. Look, the games are over. This is real life now. I'm not playing games. You've got this all wrong. Oh, good, because I don't like that kind of woman. You really, I don't know what's the matter with you, but honestly, um, I think the situation's gotten out of hand. You asked for it. You wanted to come up here. Why, you about me? Oh, verbal abuse. I love it. I'm having a good fight with a woman in a long time. Oh. This has got to be Oh, come in! Shut up, shut up! What do you want? Hey, I gotta, I gotta talk to you, Mitch. Shut the door. Hi, Pete. Where's the door? I was just leaving. The second time. Well, you know, Mitch, I wanted to come over to ask you some questions about, you know, what the prosecution was going to talk to you about and I realize all of a sudden that would be unethical. I'm sorry, Mr. Irby. You've got great timing, O'Neill. Where did you and Dorian work this out? Work what out, Mitch? You got an overly suspicious mind, fella. See you in court.
Dorian. Dorian, I have been so worried. Are you all right? Yeah, barely. Well, well I found out you were in his room. I, I kept trying to call and call. So that was you? Yes, why were you up there? Can I sit down before I fall down? Dorian, why did you go up to his room? Because he wasn't wearing the watch. I thought that was the only way I could get a look at the stupid thing. Well, did you find it? I found it in his dresser drawer. It's wonderful, Dorian. I am so grateful to you. Don't be so grateful. I didn't really get a good look at it. Oh, no. Did you did you see if there was a stone missing from I the watch? I didn't have time, Tina. I had to get rid of him somehow, so I told him that I'd lost my wallet somewhere in the lobby. But it took me so long to find the watch that I had barely gotten hold of it when he came barging back to the door. Dorian, did he did he see you with the watch? Uh, why are you so worried about the watch? Why don't you think about what happened to Mr. O'Neill? Pete. Pete, of course, call me Dorian. I cannot thank you enough. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Never mind, I do know what would have happened. What an absolute fool to go up to that room. I couldn't agree more. In fact, you're being too kind. Hmm. What? Was it at least worth it? Did you get a look at the uh, watch band? I was just telling Tina that I didn't have time. Uh, come to think of it. Here is the stone nearly caused my demise. You take it. I never want to touch it again. Did he see you looking at the watch? No. I managed to get it quickly back into the drawer. Then he had no idea what you were after. Well, he knew I was after something. He got very suspicious. In fact, he turned into a madman. I'm now convinced if I ever had any doubts that the man is a cold-blooded psychopathic killer. Well then, this little stone, maybe the thing nailed him to the wall. You did? Yeah, why don't you give me that gun? No, you just get out of here. Get out of here now and you stay away from me and I will not tell anyone what you did. I want, I'm just going to take Vicky home. Now, don't come near me. Yeah, let's talk soon. Bitch, don't. Honey, shut up. Ow! 